Hey, what is up, guys? Some of you screws here. Uh, I just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys. Basically, just share my thoughts on Monster Hunter World over on uh, PS4. Uh, by the way, I freaking love this little cutscene here. I wish I wish my cats would, would cook for me like that. Definitely, unfortunately, the cats over here they don't actually cook. Yeah, it's uh, the other way around. You have to feed them. They don't actually feed you. So that would be sweet. Actually, I would love that. We just have to like. I would love to have just like four cats just cooking for me like that. That would be amazing. Uh, that would be that would be something. But you know, in this video, basically, we're gonna be looking at a little bit of. Uh, I did actually some co-op with uh, PewDiePie. No, I'm not kidding. Actually, he called me up. He said, you know, Soma. Basically, you know, on PSN, you know, he sent me a you know friend request and everything. He said, hey, you know, Soma, you know, PewDiePie here, and uh, I want to do some co-op with you, man. I said, all right, we'll do some co-op. I asked him, you know, if he wanted more people with us, and unfortunately, he said, no, no, just you and me, man, just you and me. And I thought I was pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't know what happened with my uh, capture card. For some reason, it recorded these matches. Uh, the not matches. The freaking uh, the co-op here with PewDiePie. Unfortunately, it recorded it without any audio because basically what happened, I had it set uh, on the PS4 to automatic. You know the resolution, and it basically was uh, throwing the resolution all the way up to 180p, which my monitor can't handle. So if my monitor can't handle the resolution, then over here I get no audio. So it sucks. But what I'm gonna do is I'll probably just throw some uh, you know some Castlevania music or something uh, in the background. And uh, me and PewDiePie here, we took out of that, we took care of that pig real quick, as you can see. And I, basically, what I did, I just pretty much kissed his ass, pretty much. You know, I just followed him around. But uh, you know, he's not actually, he's not very good at the monster hunter, unfortunately. You know, he did, he did, um, he died like two times actually. He fainted uh, two times actually. And I'm the one, I'm the one that took care of the Diablos. I'm gonna be honest, you know what I mean? I pretty much at one point in time, I said, hey, you know what? Just, just back up, just take it easy. You know what I mean? I will handle the Diablos. Which is actually really freaking tricky. It's probably the hardest, uh, in my opinion, the hardest monster I've encountered so far. Uh, I haven't actually progressed too much in the story, but uh, yeah, this is actually the hardest guy right here. Even harder than the goddamn Sora Magdaros, I'm gonna be honest. But uh, definitely, you know, basically, see what I mean? Yeah, he just kept getting run over, you know what I mean? And he fainted two times, basically. I didn't faint not even one single time, and then I put up, oh, there you go, see, so, yeah, he got taken down, see what I mean? There you go. Not very good, man. He's not very good at Macho Hunter. You know, he should probably just stick to, to Minecraft or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure where it is that he plays. But, you know, Monster Hunter, I don't think he's cut off from Monster Hunter, I'm going to be honest. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, my uh, the storage card, the SD card I have on the uh, on the capture card, it also ran out of space. So, on top of having no audio, uh, the match just kind of gets cut off. You know what I mean? The, the, the co-op it did here. So, unfortunately, I was not able to get the freaking... Uh, you know, I, I beat the thing and whatnot, but I was not able to record that footage, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I was able to take it out, and I did take a screenshot of the uh, the, the final, uh, the you know, the final screen with my name on it and his name on it. So I may just add that. If I still have it, I'm not sure if I was actually able to do that. But definitely, you know, Diablos. Diablos is tricky, I'm going to be honest. And I do have the Diablos armor. And right now, I'm using the Odagoron armor, which is insanely freaking good. It's actually my uh, favorite armor. And uh, later on in the video, we will get to see uh, the many different types of armor sets that I've made. I made a ton of them. I'm gonna be honest. I made like a different armor set every single day. Like yesterday alone, I made the Rathian set. I made the Rathalos set as well. And I also made, I think it was the, uh, I think it was the Diablo set as well. I made all three of them uh, in a row. Um, because that's kind of thing, though. You know what I mean? That's whoa. That was freaking sweet. Cut that ass up. Very nice. And uh, but yeah, you know this Diablo. I think he's pretty much around here. He faints again. Uh, that's pretty much all he did. I'm gonna be honest. Just freaking fainting. I mean, you would think, right? That you know he would be good at monster hunter or something. But now, nah, unfortunately, I mean, he just kept fainting. You know what I mean? I didn't get it. I was like, what, what, what is this? What's going on, man? Oh my god. You know, and I did try to help him out. You know, I did try to heal him and whatnot. But he was not very good at following instructions, except at the end. When I finally told him to, uh, to you know, just back off, tell him, hey, you know, just, just, just leave the Diablos to me. I've got this. I think it's, I think he faints around here as well. I believe. I'm not really sure. Yeah. See what I mean? I set that health booster up there, and then yeah, here he goes, getting owned again by the goddamn Diablos. And the Diablos armor is actually quite good, but you know, my character looks kind of heavy on there. But my favorite armor is probably this. It's actually the one I'm uh, updated, upgraded, and all that stuff. Um. He's about to faint, by the way. I think that right here, that Diablo just, just pulls up, just, just goes up and destroys his ass. There you go. Yeah, PewDiePie has fainted. There you go. Couldn't believe it, man. And then, obviously, of course, I did send him a friend request and whatnot. Uh, you know, he's on my friends, so it's actually quite cool. I've actually talked to him a few times, actually. 
Ah, uh, nice guy, definitely. And I've told him about doing some, uh, you know, collaborations and whatnot on YouTube. Uh, but he doesn't really seem to be uh, very interested, which is a shame. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, I think around here, around here is when the, when, when the video footage should, just kind of gets cut off. Because my, uh, my SD card ran out of space. I gotta get a bigger one. Uh, you know, gotta order at least, I would say at least a 16 gig, I would do. Maybe 32 gigs, I'm not really sure. That's the thing about the capture card, you can just stick in there whatever the hell you want to record. Uh, you can stick in a storage drive, you can stick in an, an SD card. Um, it's pretty cool, definitely. So, basically, yeah, I probably, I'd probably go for an SD card. Alright, so see, that's where the footage got cut off. Uh, here, I actually, uh, he invited me again, so we could just hunt this Palomumu. But I came in kind of late, so unfortunately I was not able to get any freaking, uh, rewards because I came in so late and I was busy doing something. And uh, speaking of which, uh, my new webcam arrived today actually, it's actually quite good. It's an 8.0 megapixel and uh, camera, it's a webcam actually. And that's uh, quite good, it's black and it's got that retractable cable. Check this out, hear this, hear this. There it is, see that's the webcam the cable retracting. Which is actually quite nice, you actually, you actually clip, on, clip it on there. And I did test it out with OBS, I did test it out with, while streaming and whatnot. So maybe, who knows, maybe a face reveal is, will be coming in the future, who knows. But I do need a good shave. Uh, I need a good shave, definitely. I also need a haircut. Now the shave I can do, obviously. I got the barber saw, I got the razor, I got all that shit, definitely. And I am in pretty good shape as well, seeing as how I work out every day. But uh, I need a haircut. My hair is like way too freaking long right now. It's kind of uh, out of control, I'm going to be honest. So I think that after a good haircut, you know, good haircut, good shave, you know, pr probably a tux or something, probably a nice uh, nice tux with a... Uh, with a tie or with one of those little uh, those little thing thingies there, you put that kind of like Pee Wee, the thing that Pee Wee wears. One of those, one of those. Uh, what the hell is it called? I don't know what's called. One of those, probably red. I'm not really sure. Probably a black top with with a red little uh, red little bow tie, and then basically some glasses, a good haircut, good shave, and I think I'll be ready for freaking uh, yeah to do a face reveal. Obviously that will be over on Twitch, definitely not here on YouTube. Uh, that's where my streams are, so obviously I'm gonna do that over there. And, you know, Twitch has been pretty good, actually, for me, definitely. You know, people, meeting lots of people, you know, new followers, uh, you know, getting some subscribers over there, you know, bits and all that stuff. That's really cool, definitely. You know, Twitch has been a, an amazing experience so far. And tonight I'm actually doing Ninja Gaiden Sigma over there, although this video might not be go, going live today. It's probably going live tomorrow. I'm, tomorrow I'm probably doing some Persona 3. Today I'm probably doing some freaking uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma on PS3, by the way, with the capture card which is an amazing capture card. But definitely after this, you know, I had this little bit here with PewDiePie. He jumps off the cliff here, and then I never saw him again, unfortunately. You know, after that, he signed off, and that was it. I have not seen him again. I have not spoken to him again. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's a shame. Ooh. He did say he was going to send me something uh, in the mail. But uh, who knows when that will arrive, you know what I mean? I don't know when that will arrive, I'm going to be honest. Alright, so here we're going to be looking at my different armor sets. I've made a ton of them, as you can see. This is the Odaga one, which is my strongest one, the best one I have. I use that one for pretty much everything. I also have the Anjanov armor set here, as you can see. It's actually quite good as well. I don't actually use this one very much, but there it is. I also have the, which is this one, these, oh my god, this is a Radabon. This one is quite good. She looks like a Power Ranger. It's quite nice. Um, don't use it too much. I also have here the Legiana armor set, as you can see. Again, I don't use it very much. But she looks cool. And then I also have the what here? This is the ah, uh, this is the uh, the guy rose armor set, which is quite cool. She looks like something straight out of Mad Max. Not bad, but I don't use it. And let's see what else I got. Right, this is the Raffion armor set, which is quite nice. I've not taken this one off for a, for a spin yet, just yet, but I will do that soon. And this is the Rafal's armor. Again, I have not taken it out for a test drive, but I will in soon, I guess. Maybe today, who knows? This is the Diablo's armor set, as you can see, it's quite good. She looks kind of heavy though. But it, I did test it out, it's pretty good. I got no complaints. This is the this is the first armor set I made. This is the Great Jagras uh, set here. It's not bad for beginners, I would say. This is the Bone set. Just made it. I don't actually use this one. I just made it. She looks cool. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, here I hear that, yeah, this is the one from the freaking, uh, what's it called? That thing from the water. I don't know what it's called. The new, new Rakudo, I think. And this is Toby Kadachi set. This is actually my favorite set for a while. This is before, and then I made the other one, and then I went back. And this is the Kula Kaju, uh, actually, I don't know what it's called. Uh, she's, this one's quite cool. She looks like something just straight out of Aladdin. But uh, this is the one I stick with, definitely. The Odaga one. It's my strongest set. 
And here I am taking on a Diablos with actually skilled players. You know, PewDiePie was not joining us for this one. But basically what we did here was pretty much the same thing. Uh, when it comes to the Diablos, I pretty much just go for the just go for the tail, pretty much. Take the tail out. Then after I take the tail out, remove the tail of the equation. I just go for the horns. Once I take care of the horns, you take care of the tail and the two horns. After that, the Diablos is easy. But at the beginning, well, he's got that tail. That tail has got way too much reach. And this thing is way too big, I'm going to be honest. And basically, he's got those two wings. I'm going to be honest, I've never seen him use those wings. Except for, I don't know, when he gets stuck or something, he uses them to get out. So it's kind of weird that he's got those, those, those two big wings. But he rarely uses them. I've never seen this thing flying, I'm going to be honest. It just goes underground. So I'm not really sure what's the point of the wings. But it is where it is. And uh, I'm going to take a sip of water here. Hold on a second. Uh. And it is St. Valentine's Day. Yes, I am recording this. And I actually received my gift today. I got a box here of Starbus, the original, very nice, the fruit juice, those are good for the stream. I also got Skittles, the original, which are also good for the stream. And I also got freaking, what do we got here? Pringles, hmm, which are also good for the stream. All, all, this, all this is just stream, uh, stream snacks, I would say, definitely. So it's pretty cool, and my new headset arrived, but unfortunately my new headset is not compatible with this PC until I get a splitter and I cannot wait. This headset is actually a little bit uncomfortable. After around an hour or so, my ears just kind of start to hurt, but not with the new headset. The new headset is quite badass, I will admit. And, uh, you know, I got it for a bargain over at uh, eBay. Freaking love buying on eBay. I'm still expecting some more stuff from eBay. Uh, you know, like a splitter for the, uh, the PS3. What else? Some batteries and... Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not really sure what else. But yeah, definitely here. We just kind of just take that freaking tail off. There we go. See, I took the tail off. I'm the one that did that. I did that. And then basically, the Diablos get pi gets pissed. You can see he doesn't have the horns. But he already took care of the tail, which was nice. And, uh, you know, that's what happens, man. That's what happens when you play with experts. I'm going to be honest. When you play with experts, you get this. You know what I mean? You get experts just kicking ass. And I am a Monster Hunter expert. Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom 2, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 uh, Unite, uh, you know, now Monster Hunter World. I never played the ones on the freaking uh, 3DS, actually, but from what I understand, they're quite good. I never played the one on the Wii, which was Monster Hunter Try. From what I understand, that one was quite good as well, and there we go. I even got the final uh, hit there on the Diablos and everything, so we whooped that ass. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video with basically just me rambling <laughs> about random stuff. But, you know, this is co op with PewDiePie. It was pretty cool. I uh, showed you guys my many different armor sets. Hell, I may fire up the game and make more armor sets, actually. I freaking love doing that. I don't know why. It's super easy to make armor sets here in Monster Hunter World. I remember back in the PSP ones, I only had like two sets because they were actually quite difficult to, to make. So, I don't know what happened. I'm guessing here, the monsters, they, they just dropped more, more pieces. There you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Just, um, yeah. Co op PewDiePie, different armor sets. What else? I'm not really sure what else to talk about here. Took down, took down the Diablos with ease. And, uh, you know, that is pretty much it. You know, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, which, like I said, was just me pretty much rambling. This guy's just waving at me. Then I do like a little game here with him. I don't think he got it. He was a little bit confused, I think. And then, yep, that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content itself. Also, please make sure to check me out over on Twitch, where I am doing streams uh, on a nightly, you know, on a daily basis. Usually, I stream at around 9 p.m. Uh, my time. Uh, not sure what time that would be for you, but for me, it's around 9 p.m. when I start the streams. And usually, they go for maybe three, four hours. Lots of fun, definitely. And uh, you know, follow me over there, and also my Twitter at Chenoa Cruz. And that's pretty much it. Later, guys.